had some questions that came in. I'll just okay. read for you. We had six questions, but if you have a question, just send it to the webinar host and we will take it now. Um, the first one says, thank you for this, but what is the tax liability for the UK when cashing in dividends? So when cashing in dividends, so it depends, like if you buy from your UK, if you buy from your ISA account, basically, yeah, mm -hmm. your ISA account, you, there's nothing to there's nothing to declare. So it's from your ISA. If you buy outside your ISA, when you sell, if you cash the dividend, like you say, then you need to declare it at the financial. But you're paying based on your 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 current um, tax bandwidth. So if you're paying, if you're on the 40 40 percent bandwidth, if you're on the 35 percent, or whatever bandwidth you have, that's the bandwidth you pay on the dividend. But ideally, okay. that's up to you if you choose if you choose to take it as income. If you do that with IG, IG, um, sorry, with Hagrid and Lanzan, you have two options. Either you take it as an income or if you want to reinvest it. So, and then if you reinvest it, it means you're buying more stocks, which means the dividend on next pay would be higher. Okay, thank you so much. The next question says, what do you think about investing in cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin? Okay, cryptocurrencies are great. Uh, I've made some money from cryptocurrencies. Quite an amazing one when I bought uh, Bitcoin Cash. You know, the days when it was really uh, a lot of boom in it. And you buy today at uh, 250. Then tomorrow you made another 250 pounds profit. You sell, you keep the cash, you buy another one again. Next uh, day you've made another profit. Uh, this is reality. It's um, They don't offer any value. Okay. They don't offer any value or whatsoever because you're not buying or owning or selling anything. It's just because of those, it's driven by demand. Okay, so for me, if you're buying cryptocurrencies, you want to buy cryptocurrencies with money that you're willing to part with, or you're willing to hold until the currencies go up, or if you've been monitoring or studying them for a long time, then you can buy them when they're in the deep, and if they do rise and make profit, you can sell them and keep them. But in terms of value investing, I don't advise anyone to get into cryptocurrencies. But like I said, if you want to, you can have them because they could be profitable. For instance, they could jump 10%, they can go up uh, 50%, very careful of cryptos but like i said you, they're also profitable but they're high risk those are the high high risk stuff but it's good if you get them cheap okay thank thank you very much uh, another question says can you withdraw your isa at the end of the financial year that is april can you withdraw money from it yes if you choose to yes if you want to you can withdraw but try not to withdraw well I say, okay, first, you haven't put in any money in the new financial year. So at the end of the financial year, so you can withdraw cash from your ISA. The ISA is accessible anytime. Any profit you make, you can withdraw if you want to. So you say you keep it to the financial year and you just believe that maybe you've done your research, you believe the company will do well, you invest in the company uh, and they prosper. You cash in 30% profit, 15, 20% profit, mm -hmm. and then you take. And then uh, you, you, you reset. Of course, it resets the next, from the 5th of April, the next year. So yes, you can cash your ISA. Okay. Do you think we are in a bull trap and stock market might go lower again? Well, my opinion is that the stock market will go, will go down again. Uh, currently, I'm just basically saving for the dip because I think that um, from the last um, year, 2019, I think I'll put an example when they were announcing their earnings or because they announced their earnings or their, they announced their, uh, the way they've performed um, every quarter okay so december they announced they did very well sales were fantastic everything was great then went into january february we saw the crash uh, with the covid but no announcement so of course you expect that in the month of april when they announced their earnings and uh, their, how the world have performed that the market will crash but surprisingly they announced that they did well in some areas they didn't do well in the iphone sales because of the manufacturing were closed were closed in china and other uh, suppliers and all that issues but they still did, they're still, they're they currently rising at the moment. So, everybody's going back, they're trying to get the market people to go back into work in the UK, in the US, they're trying to open the, the, um, the business, the open business and open the markets again. But the problem is there's no vaccine. So, it's likely that there may be a second wave of the virus. And the second wave of the virus, the, it will hit the, the economy hard this time again. And again, a lot of uh, losses that have been made in the first quarter now, people are trying, they're going to shield that in the second quarter, which means job losses, which means trying to readjust their balance book, their, their books, trying to, uh, you know, trim as much fat as possible. That, of course, slow things down. And people are a bit skeptic now, skeptical, sorry. So people, of course, save cash 
and not want to spend. For instance, if you're going to buy a dress before hundred pounds, you probably think, is it really worth it? What if things really go bad? So you don't spend, you keep. So all that would shrink the second quarter. So it's likely that a lot of things will drop again, second quarter, especially in the retail, airlines, of course, some companies, some airlines may go bust. So a lot of things may go um, south this second quarter. So in my own opinion, it's best to save and really watch the market for any good discount. So I think we're in the bear market this time now, is my opinion. Thank you very much. Now, the next question says, um, when you buy a stock from a non-ISA account, a non-ISA account, how is the tax deducted? Because you have to pay tax. I mean, do you pay tax at a point of when you're buying or is it deducted separately? No, I think it's when you sell, um, when, you, um, when you sell the shares and you cash the money out. So at the end of the financial year, as part of your forms, you fill back to the HMRC, HMRC you need to declare that you know, you sold X and uh, this is how much profits you made and any extra income really, you just declare it and then the taxes will come back to you say, okay, you owe us X and then you pay that. So mm. that's pretty much it. If you have a good financial accountant, then that will be dealt with or you just fill in your form and, and just declare how much you, you, uh, you, you, you sold and then that will come back to you. Okay, I think this is the next question we somebody else asked that how easy it is for you to sell your shares? Do you have delays, addictions? No, so to sell is that simple. You click sell amount of sales. You, if you have, say you have, you have 50 shares of uh, IG, you just go to the number of shares, so you click six, you sell and click done. It tell you how much it is at the bottom uh, and then you sell, okay? Okay. So that's it. And then uh, for, for, for stocks, high-end stocks like Facebook, fact, majority of the stocks, except maybe sometimes penny stocks, they are, they are ready buyers in the market to sell, to buy. Very. Thank you. I think more questions are coming in for you, so I have to tell you so that you'll be prepared. Okay, no problem. I at the beginning, but it's coming in, so I think everyone is asking questions now. Please keep your questions coming and we'll take them. The next one says, um, what are your thoughts on CFD? Okay, CFDs are contracts for difference, yeah? buying contracts of the stock. So as an example, Apple in the real world is maybe today $310 or $306. In the contract for different world, it may be $2. Okay, but what you're doing is that you're actually trading the price. So as an example, I'm trying to explain trading because trading is a different ballgame altogether. It's a really huge, uh, it's a huge part of uh, stocks, but it's not investing, it's trading. Um, Ogechi, what is the strategy for investing in stocks? Do you buy to hold or you buy on a dip and sell when the stock appreciates or do you do both? Well, I, I tend to invest in value. So, so I normally buy dips. So I usually have cash waiting. I try to have cash waiting. And then once it's a, there's a dip, like now waiting for this dip to happen, although it's going to be sad for uh, the economy in a sense because it's a recession, but like Warren Buffett would say that you are greedy when people are fearful and you're fearful when people are greedy. So what that means is people right now are fearful. So now is the time to be greedy. So you're looking for opportunities big time when the price of, uh, of things would drop. Thank you very much. The last one is a personal question. It says, when you sold your Facebook share and you realized that you made a mistake, did you rebuy the shares or did you not and why? Okay, no, I didn't. Uh, actually, not was it Facebook. No, it wasn't Facebook. It was uh, I, had, I had Apple shares as an example. I bought Apple shares. I bought Apple shares when I started off. I bought Apple shares at... Uh, I bought Apple shares at... Ninety dollars. Mm -hmm. No, but yeah, about ninety dollars. No, it's about $100. Sorry, I bought Apple shares at hundred dollars, and Apple dropped all the way to ninety because a billionaire had made so much money from it and decided to really distinguish his shares. So I bought them, and I, I waited for Apple to go back to hundred and I because it was the first time I was involved in. I was scared. I was like, why? Oh, I, what have I done? I bought them at hundred. Now they're down to ninety. What if they drop again? To it because they're like iPhone is already out. There's no other new phone that will come out. It's not going to really make sense. There's no other design again that would be all those rumors. Was a lot of, you know fear in my in my um, 
in me and I decided that I was not, uh, I wasn't going to, so I sold it $100. I didn't go back to buy. I regretted ever doing that. So there's some regrets in it, but uh, it's what under the bridge and you just have to move on. <laughs> so if I had my Apple shares at $90, I mean $100 right now, it's three times that money. But there you go. So this is happened. Okay, thank you very much.